welcome. So today we're talking about how to master menopausal cravings, crush sugar and support weight loss along the way. So we know that menopause can be a very challenging time for a lot of women with all of those hormonal changes happening um, that might be contributing to sugar cravings, hot flashes, all of those symptoms along with unwanted weight gain. But with the right strategies, you can actually take control of those cravings and feel your best and that's what I'm here to talk to you about today so I hope you're excited and let's get started so first I want to talk about the actual impact sugar has during perimenopause and menopause so hot flashes which I know is a very common symptoms when it comes to you know the transitioning from perimenopause to menopause that can actually tr be triggered by consuming too much sugar and we know that too much sugar leads to weight gain which can be especially frustrating during um the menopause stage because things might feel like they're working against you as it is so sugar is definitely not gonna be helpful so let's get started with by looking at okay well let's um, see how we can read and understand food labels because food labels um, can be quite confusing and overwhelming to look at because by now there might be even more names but there's at least 56 different names for the, all the different types of sugars that might be present in anything that you purchase that's in, in, in packaged um, form. So the easiest way, unless you want to learn all the different names and they keep on evolving too, so you might can't keep up with those, is to literally um, just know that when you look at the, the back of your food label, um, the four grams is the equivalent to one teaspoon. So have a real close look at the actual sugar per serve so you can visually figure out like, you know, how much sugar is in that product. So sugar is often, you know, not just your obvious stuff, but even things like um, crackers and, and sauces and, and dressings and all of that obviously do contain a high amount of sugar. So it's really important for you to look at, you know, how much sugar there is present. And generally speaking, if a product has um, more than five ingredients, it is actually considered um, a processed foods and also if it's got ingredients like your granny wouldn't recognize it's also a sign that there is going to be a lot of added stuff that you don't want to put inside of your body so really important to actually look at some sugar alternatives which is tip number two because um, that will give you something sweet that you can use in your home baking without you know feeling like you need to give up and cut out sugar all completely so here's what I like to use I like to use um, organic I hope you can see this okay organic stevia which you can get from all of your local supermarkets there's even like a couple of different brands available and then I'm also a big fan of natural fiber syrup this one here is from a kiwi company called nothing naughty um, you can either buy that online or if you've got access to chemist warehouse um, I think they stock them too these days because basically you want to look for sweeteners that are really um, low in GI, so as in they're not going to spike your blood sugar levels and some of the sweet, sweetness available um, out there like in, in terms of all the different products that you can buy aren't necessarily always going to be a good choice. So look for, you know, natural alternatives such as organic stevia and also the rice brand. So both of those don't, um, you know, don't spike your blood sugar levels. So tip number three is to actually manage your craving cravings because um, when it comes to cravings it's not down to how much willpower you may or may not have because sugar is highly addictive and they can be really really powerful but there are certain strategies that I found work really really well and I want to share them with you so first we actually need to figure out okay are you emotionally hungry or are you physically hungry for sugar? So are you wanting sugar because you're tired? Are you wanting sugar because you're stressed, lonely or bored? And then if you are experiencing that emotional connection, you really need to identify those triggers. Now, if this is you and you want a little bit more help with that and you know that emotional eating might be leading you to overindulge in certain foods that you know aren't really supporting your goals, you can quite simply 
comment um, emotional eating down below and I'll send you a copy of my emotional eating guide so you can start working on how to identify your triggers and how to overcome emotional eating. So second is obviously you want to, um, if you are physically craving sugar, you want to um, distract yourself, remove yourself from um, your surroundings, go for a walk and um, practice relaxation techniques or, you know, engage in, in a hobby or have a glass of water. All of those things will take your mind off um, whatever it is that you cry craving in that moment. And the next big thing is... Um, practicing mindful eating simply sitting down and you know i really want you to savor your food paying attention to all the flavors and textures that you are getting from your meal which will ultimately help you feel more satisfied and reduce your cravings and the, the key really with most cravings is to simply um find healthy alternatives so you don't feel like you're depriving yourself and use um the recommended um sugar alternatives i just talked about so you can still make a healthy sweet treat and have your bliss boards or have chocolate fat brownie but just make it sugar free um because a lot of the snacks that you buy out there even your snack bars like muesli bars and a lot of the protein bars they still contain too much sugar which can stand in your way when you're wanting to lose weight and they can also um, intensify hot flashes too um, another really helpful tip that does wonders is if you've got access to um, like some good quality essential oils um, Peppermint essential oil is really, really good if you either put a little bit underneath your, your tongue or on your on your temples uh, or behind your ears as well. Um, that works really, really well. Cravings, obviously, you may have to dilute the oils if it's um, topical application, but it's, um, it's amazing. That really does work well with cravings. So just to summarize, you want to kind of get to know your food labels, know what foods you're putting inside of your body, know how much sugar is inside of them, apart from obviously, you know, all the preservative and um, other additives that often get, um, get put into the foods that we eat just to make them taste better and look at healthier alternatives and just transition to either tackle emotional um, eating if that's your main um your main reason for why you're getting cravings or if it's not you just want to distract yourself um remove yourself from from you know um where you're at and, and go for a walk and just keep keep busy so you can actually overcome the sugar and the less sugar you consume the less likely you are going to crave it and each individual has a very different sugar um, threshold, so to speak, because it is so highly addictive. So I find that for myself, if I have a slice of cake, say if it's a slice of birthday cake, guaranteed my body would crave a slice of birthday cake at exactly the same time tomorrow. So that just gives you an idea of um, where it can be. So I encourage you to identify your own um, sugar threshold so you know how much sugar is okay in your diet and also so when it comes to menopausal symptoms, you want to really um, get the best of both worlds. You know, um, if you've been following me for a wee while, I'm all about, you know, having the balance in order to create sustainability. So being able to... Um, figure out how much sugar you can tolerate without you know getting more hot flashes and without creating additional cravings is going to give you the flexibility you need moving forwards with your weight loss goals and if you found this video helpful um please give it a thumbs up and be sure to either add me as a as a friend if you're watching this here on facebook or if you are catching the recordings on youtube be sure to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a beat and i can't wait to talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.